So I'm bringing the speed down, down. There we go. Touch that water, look at that. Graceful, she'll do it. Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we've got a gorgeous Georgia day and we've got that Nexa Twin Otter on the lake, on the floats. The floats come optional with this ARF kit. Um, again, we have all Admiral Motors inside. Everything uh, that is required is on the product page. Link is in the description down below. And I just took it for a main flight, trimmed it out and it was beautiful. We got no wind today. The lake is like glass unless a boat passes for a while, but uh, she flew really well, so we're gonna take her up here, and uh, when we land it, we'll go over it and talk about it. Are you ready, Alex? I'm ready. He's ready, I'm ready. So now, if you saw the uh, quick tip recently, I set up differential thrust on this, and it is on a switch. So the differential thrust is what allows me to turn on the lake, because the float option doesn't come with water rudders. You could, you could install them on there if you'd rather have a water rudder, but uh, I thought it's a twin engine plane, might as well go with uh, differential thrust, because it's just fun, but I have it on the switch, so when I'm in the air, you know, this plane, the Twin Otter itself, is not a very aerobatic plane. It doesn't want to do rolls and craziness, so having differential thrust in the air, you know, probably only get me in trouble trying to do things that the plane doesn't want to do. This is a relaxing flyer, and I'm just happy to uh, have her going. So I'm gonna give her some throttle, a little slow at the start, let her start riding those waves, and then take her up. Beautiful. Turning out to the right. Gonna bring the throttle now back down. Now I did that, that takeoff without flaps. Um, again, it's not really windy day. Didn't really think I needed the flaps, but check that out. That is hands off the sticks. Still a little bit, I could probably put a little more down trim in it, but all around, she's absolutely stunning. What I like about this lake, we're actually a little up high off the lake, so I can actually look down on the model as I fly, which is something I don't really get a chance to do. At, uh, at our fields. She's beautiful, so now I'm gonna come back in the other way, Alex. So I'm gonna give a little, give a little rudder there. She's got a big old rudder. If I use differential thrust, man, she'd probably cut on a dime. Let's go full throttle. Nice and straight, looking good. I'm gonna head up to the sky for a little stall turn. I love the color scheme. You can really, she really pops. I think I'll bring her into a big loop here. Right off the bat, she will loop, no problem. And then we'll do a roll here, and you'll just see, the ailerons are kind of small on this bird, so a roll, again, high rate is just, you know, slow and sloppy. I'm sure a better pilot will make it look good, but that's not what you're getting a Twin Otter for. And if you're getting it for floats, you're gonna wanna, you know, do all sorts of fun on the water like I am, just enjoy a different experience. Cause sometimes, you know, even your flight field gets a little boring to fly at all the time. That's why we like to go to events or you like to go to a, maybe a different field sometimes just, just for a change of scenery. So having a float plane, if you live near a body of water, uh, you, you tick off all those boxes at the exact same time. Now, as far as the power system inside, so again, I have Admiral Motors, and um, just off the top of my head, I'm forgetting which ones are in there. They're on the product page uh, as I'm sitting here talking, but I'm running them on two 3S 3700 packs. Those are the largest 3S packs we had with XT60s. You could easily put two 5000s in here. The Admirals we have only had EC5s. I wasn't in the mood to solder and uh, mess that up, so I went with the two 3700s, one for each ESC. And that's giving me about five minutes of useful throttle time. So right now I only have about a minute left. So again, I'll eventually, I'll get an adapter or I'll do the soldering, but I really just wanted to get out and get her maidened. I had these packs already and I just thought, what a beautiful way to go. So I think what I'm gonna try to do though, Alex, is a touch and go quick. So I'm virtually gonna land it and then just give, keep the speed up a bit. So I'm bringing the speed down down there we go touch that water look at that graceful she'll do it i will say the floats are built like a tank um nice metal sparring across uh they're really connected well to the float so um you know that's always a nerve when you have floats is that you know if you land too hard the floats rip off and then you got a problem but uh she was able to take it really well 
So I'm very impressed overall and I'm excited to now have this thing here with a summer coming up and I live near a lake. So I'm gonna be more than excited to, uh, you know, fly around. So that's my timer coming down a bit. On my maiden flight, I went for four minutes and I was a little harder on the sticks than I am now. And uh, I came down at 3.9 on each pack. So I pushed it to another minute. Oh, actually, this is only four minutes. I forgot to add the minute to my timer, Alex. So you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna live a little dangerously. I know I have more time. So I'm gonna go up, go up, up, up. Stall turn again. Probably my favorite move in the, uh, on the Twin Otter. And now I think we'll bring her in for a landing. And I'm gonna land right to left, even though there's no wind but uh, just sort of the way the waves at this side of the lake will come. That's another thing when you're flying with floats, you wanna to try to land into the waves. You'd rather not land sideways, especially if it's heavy waves. Um, you'd wanna land into it. The same thing you do with, uh, you know, with a boat. You wanna drive into the waves, not, uh, not against them or especially to the side of them. But there we go, bring her down. Now I'm gonna flick my R, my H switch, I had it and we're gonna have differential thrust. There we go. Turning it around, perfect. You can see, you can see the differential thrust. I've got tons of uh, maneuverability. Once the throttle spins up, no problem, making sure I can turn the aircraft and get it back to me. So, since I am up on a little hill though, and we are taxiing back, I'm gonna go get her, and uh, we'll talk about it. All right, guys, so we landed and uh, I pulled the batteries out and I just want to see real quick what my uh, what my situation is here. It's again, not rocking telemetry. I'm at 3.9, so that was about a five minute flight, maybe four minutes and 30 seconds. I'm at 3.9 on the first one and should be the same on the other one. And 3.9, three nines across the board. So I'm happy with that. That means I could easily go for five minutes if you're using the Admiral 3700s, but I would recommend it. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna go get two 5000s, maybe even two 6000s because I have these pushed all the way forward. I didn't have to add any weight to achieve the CG that I needed. Um, you know, I was right there, so I would like it because honestly where they were hard to strap down being so far forward, if I could just get them right in the middle, two heavier packs will probably give me that ability. It'll be easier to uh, strap them down. But overall, again, the Twin Otter, I used everything on the product page. So I got the Admiral Motors in there, as I said, um, the recommended propellers, and uh, mine are spinning the same way. I set up the differential thrust on there. I've got the high-tech servos throughout that we recommend. It was two, two different sets of servos for each thing. So I had heavier Metal Gear ones for the elevator and rudder on the inside, uh, smaller ones for the flaps, and, um, speedier ones for the aileron. Um, again, the, the names on those, I can't remember off the top of my head, so bear with me there. But uh, as far as the wingspan goes, guys, she is 73 inches, 73.6 inches or 1870 millimeters. And it's a beautiful size. Again, you can see here and all around, I went right to the float. So eventually I'll probably slap in the steering servo, put in the nose gear. Um, they give you the whole attachment, the assembly, because she'll be a trike. Um, and I'll take it to the field and fly regular, but for this summer, those floats are not coming off because that was too much fun to fly on the lake. This is the first time I ever got to fly a balsa plane on the water, so I'm even happier about that. And she just looks so good. The D, you know, the DH and the Canadian uh, colors here, the yellow and red pops, so no problem seeing it in the sky. And uh, all around, guys, I'm just happy to get out and fly again. It's been a while. Um, you know, the winters, we've been doing a lot of surface stuff over here in Atlanta, so to get out and fly, you know, and do it with something as beautiful as this, and uh, do it pretty well, I think. I think it did pretty well. Pretty good. Um, it, was, uh, it was a good flight. So either way, guys, though, if you're interested in this or any other Nexus products, check out the link down below. I'll have a link to this plane itself and then another link for all our Nexa planes because we have a lot more in stock and more on the way. Lots of varied options and this is just one of them and uh, it is a beautiful one. Guys, if you like this sort of video, please hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. So we got a lot of stuff coming. Um, every day we're releasing content almost. So uh, it's been exciting here at Motion RC. And as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. Bye, guys.